Introduction You are at an ATM center with your father. You see a message on the screen that says, This machine disburses money in multiples of 1000. You ask your father what the message means. He says it means that he can either withdraw 1000 or 2000 or 3000, but not 1500, 2700 or 3,800. You return home confused. You're also curious to know more about multiples. In this lesson, you will learn about factors and multiples in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define factors and multiples, list some interesting facts about factors and multiples, Define perfect numbers. Define co-prime numbers. Understand highest common factor, HCF. Understand least common multiple, LCM. Define even and odd numbers. Define co-prime numbers. A factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. In other words, the factor of a number divides the number exactly. For example, numbers 1, 2, 5 and 10 are all exact divisors of 10. Therefore, 1, 2, 5 and 10 are factors of 10. Similarly, 1, 2, 4 and 8 are exact divisors of 8. Therefore, 1, 2, 4 and 8 are factors of 8. You can see that factors are always smaller than or equal to the number itself. Number 10 is the product of 2 and 5. It is also a product of 1 and 10. Therefore, 10 is a multiple of 1, 2, 5 and 10. Similarly, number 8 is a product of 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. Therefore, 8 is a multiple of 1, 2, 4 and 8. Thus, we can say that a number is a multiple of each of its factors. Multiples are always greater than or at least equal to the number itself. Let us revise factors and multiples with the help of an interesting activity. 1. Collect some wooden strips, each five units long. 2. Join them end to end, as shown in the figure. It is clear from the figure that the numbers 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25 are multiples of 5. Each of these numbers is greater than or equal to 5. 5 is a factor of 5. 10, 15, 20, and 25. 5 is equal to or smaller than each of these numbers. A number, the sum of whose factors is equal to twice the number itself, is a perfect number. For example, 1, 2, 3, and 6 are factors of 6. The sum of the factors 1, 2, 3, and 6 is 12, which is the same as 2 times the number 6. Hence, 6 is a perfect number. Similarly, the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. The sum of the factors is 56, which is the same as 2 times 28. Therefore, 28 is also a perfect number. Here are some interesting facts about factors and multiples. 1 is a factor of every number. Every number is a factor of itself. The smallest factor of a number is 1 and the largest is the number itself. Every factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. Every factor is less than or equal to the given number. There are finite factors of a given number. 
every number is a multiple of itself. The smallest multiple of a number is the number itself. Every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number. There are infinite multiples of a given number. Let us take some numbers in pairs and observe their factors. Look at the numbers 4 and 32. The factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. The factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. The factors 1, 2 and 4 are common to both 4 and 32. Hence, they are called common factors. Consider the numbers 7 and 9. The factors of 7 are 1 and 7. The factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. 1 is the only common factor between 7 and 9. Therefore, 7 and 9 are co-prime numbers. If two numbers have only one as the common factor, they are called co-prime numbers. Take a look at the multiples of 9 and 27. 27, 54, 81, etc. are multiples of both 9 and 27. Hence, 27, 54, 81, etc. are the common multiples of 9 and 27. Now that you know what common factors are, let us find the highest common factor of two numbers. Consider two numbers, 28 and 32. The factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. The factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. The common factors are 1, 2, and 4. It is clear that the highest common factor among these number is 4. Therefore, the highest common factor HCF of two or more given numbers is the highest or greatest of their common factors. It is also known as greatest common divisor or GCD. Recall that common multiples of two numbers are those numbers which are multiples of both the numbers. Let us now use this knowledge to find the least common multiple of two numbers. Consider the two numbers 12 and 18. The multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36 and so on. Similarly, the multiples of 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72 and so on. The common multiples of both the numbers are 36, 72 and so on but 36 is the smallest among these. Therefore, 36 is the LCM of 12 and 36. The least common multiple LCM of two or more given numbers is the least or smallest of their common multiples. Do you observe any pattern in the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on? You'll find that each of them is a multiple of 2. The numbers which are multiple of 2 are known as even numbers. The rest of the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on are called odd numbers. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. The largest factor of a number is the number itself. Every factor of a number is less than or equal to the number itself. The smallest multiple of a number is the number itself. Every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number. If two numbers have only one as a common factor, they are known as co-prime numbers. If the sum of the factors of a number 
is equal to twice the number itself, such a number is called a perfect number. The highest common factor, HCF, of two or more given numbers is the highest of their common factors. The least common multiple, LCM, of two or more given numbers is the lowest of their common multiples.